show you in one second how you get it consumer key equal to a string and consumer secret which is some string now let's go back to twitter and to the browser dev dot twitter dot com once we get, go to the dev twitter you can sign in you can look at your apps and you can register a new app on the right side i will call it test twitter test twitter description um, application website i'll just say you dot ana dot com organization say no what type of it's not a browser it's a client because iphone is going you give read write and direct message access and we can upload this image later whatever image you want and then it will ask us for some um l get t i guess that's what it is register application i accept once you accept it application cannot have the word twitter so i'll say test app stop uh except i think i have to enter the ctse for i accept what happened application name cannot already been taken so i'll save how about that i hope that is not taken by ako the application i accept is processing it let's see let's hope it gets through its process so all that's all you need to do pretty much and uh, once you're done with that you'll get the consumer key and the consumer secret so just copy the consumer key come down paste it here consumer secret take it and paste it here so let me just check one more time if i did everything properly yeah looks fine so i have that uh, set up now i need to create a ui view uh, a twitter app view controller so how do we do that so i say ui view controller star controller equal to s a twitter controller uh, controller credential entry required twitter with engine hmm. controller to ent enter credential we need this particular one so let's enter that controller enter credentials with twitter engine what is the difference between the two both look the same hmm. Yeah, let's look at it so okay so this was the one that we want and it needs engine so i have engine i'll give it engine delegate um, self so i need to give another delegate over here s a o auth control delegate so i have both the delegates and it should be good once we have that i will check if controller if controller then i will say self uh present model view controller the controller which will show the twitter controller animated yes mm. so that's all so let's see how it looks if i run it let's see if we get any errors and issues with it let's see what is it running for simulator that's great where is the simulator successful load the window then the view controller and load our things twitter login or uh, i forgot to connect all the elements so that is the problem with the ib interface builder you need to remember that you need to connect your elements from your connections tab so go to connections button login connect search i don't have search tweet tweet field connect uh tweet user is this one touch up inside login user is this one touch up inside 
and I need to hide these buttons in the start before lo it logs in <laughs> so what I will do is I will go to well, view did load and you can say button tweet this is the name of the button the other button it's tweet just tweet tweet dot hidden equal to yes yes and then tweet field dot hidden equal to yes so I hide both the buttons and when it logs in the user I'll say no and no and I'll also add button login dot hidden equal to yes so let me run it <laughs> go to the application twitter login it should bring up the pop-up and I enter the name and the password it gets the authorization ID in the background if you see and you can tweet now I have not yet written the logic to tweet so once we did write that you'll be able to tweet let's look at that now to add first I forgot about the app delegate functions let me add those what I did was I just added uh, some functions which are called advanced so the delegate functions are called stored cache data so this will store the author uh, OAuth function data cache twitter username so it takes your username and saves the data for it then there's some controller elements it checks your username you can print it out like I've done here or and do you can check failure or cancelled <laughs> So authentication with user is where you probably would want to show the fields and hide the user login. So once you're authenticated, it will show the fields. So now I need to tweet tweet whatever is written inside text field. So I will first want to hide the hide the keyboard that comes up. Our text field's name is um, tweet field resign first responder <laughs> and then I will take engine engine is one that and then it will say send update there's a function called a send update <laughs> which actually tweets and what is this string it's tweet field dot text so that will tweet that will show up on Twitter so let me run this build successful <laughs> Twitter login it opens the Twitter controller. I go ahead, login. I didn't have delegate method, so to login again. Free cell, I authorize app. So once it authorizes, it closes this and it will show us our text field. So there is the authorization ID. If you look in the thing it says authorized with username webinarana now I want to tweet something let's go ahead and look at our my tweet first so I don't have any tweets after this now let's say hello new test app and I say tweet so once it tweets I go here update it refresh my twitter For some reason twitter sometimes doesn't show up hello new twist tweet and new test app so there you go that's how you integrate twitter to your applications if you want to tweet more you can tweet more just keep on typing update and it should have my second tweet that there you go that's how you integrate uh, twitter to your application thanks for watching and uh, comments subscriptions likes everything are welcome Thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next tutorial which will be for Facebook.